welcome and how are you? Welcome to see you all where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans, correct misrepresentations of Africa and Africans, and challenge the exploitations of Africans, blacks around the world and Africa. Today, we're looking at recent concerns and voices and issues with black people in the United States of America, very few African Americans who've come forward to challenge, to say, to question George Floyd being a representative, an image, a figure at the center of the current rallies against anti-black racism. <laughs> this is interesting because some of these very few voices have expressed disappointment. And this is, you know, African American voices have expressed disappointment claiming that Judge Floyd is, was a criminal. Of course, when they say Judge Floyd was a criminal, they are able to prefix it or suffix it with saying that, oh, we're not saying he should have been killed or died brutally the way he did, but he was a criminal. Basically, what you're trying to say is that Judge Floyd is not worthy to be at the center, the instigator, the trigger, the inspiration for a new wave of global movement against anti-black racism. But this is what I have to say. For those self-righteous few who have inferred that J Judge Floyd may not be deserving of the role as, as almost a, as a near matter for now, that have invigorated a new movement, new interest to end anti-black racism, please, a reminder here, many of the figures, many of the personalities that have been Tigated, inspired major, major revolution and changes that has raised the human possibility, the well-being that has inspired human beings to live better and higher than their benign state have been people, individuals who've been questioned. Let me even take it even to the religious realm because most of us, blacks and African Americans, who are questioning the worthiness of Judge Floyd, are usually very quick to say that they are Christians and they are people of faith. Please remember that Christ, our Jesus Christ died on the cross and was treated as a criminal. He was, he died on the cross surrounded by criminals. Yes, from the scorn of those in authority, a savior emerged and today he reigns and that is Jesus Christ. I come from a family of Christians and Muslims. So let me speak on the Islamic side as well. Prophet Muhammad went around the world and as Prophet, Prophet Muhammad went around the world proclaiming, proclaiming and empowering humanity to stand taller, to stand better, to reach further, to hold up each other, to tap into their divinity, he was also judged as unworthy. And this is a case of many religious leaders. But these two, and I'm referring to Jesus Christ and Prophet Muhammad because I have, I, in my family, we have Christians and Muslims. So I'm, that's, those are my terms of res, reference. For those two, those two have risen beyond human logic to inspire and give meaning to life. Let me say it again, and I'm referring to the role of Jesus Christ and Prophet Muhammad because these two are the lines of faith we, I have in my family. These two have risen beyond human logic to inspire and give meaning to life. My point here is that it's this. Those who are judging George Floyd unworthy of inspiring the current rallies against anti-racism, anti-black racism must understand that judging people as worthy or not, it's not a place, but it's a place for the divinity. It's not something we can do <laughs> as worldly beings. It's always been a place for the divine. Because the divine is where greatness and everlasting change and hope lies. I'm not putting Judge Floyd on the same level as the other religious leaders, as Jesus Christ or Prophet Muhammad. I'm saying there's a powerful place in those we judge unworthy in the worldly sense. There's a powerful place because the divine usually 
would use those to take us up and further. All I am saying is that we should not discard Judge Floyd either on the allegations of criminal. What do you want? Justice! 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 When do you want it? Yeah. Judge Floyd's name right now is known all over the no world justice. as a symbol of white no leaders no and anti-black racism. No no that is how they no began race with no and through us. No Floyd, Police. Judge Floyd Women has instigated the movement Women and will live in our memories forever because through him, through his brutal murder, have a chance come to live. a space I and have a chance to live, to so I will risk whatever it takes to say his name. His life was taken say so that we may live there as a black people. I don't know all of their names, but what I do tell you is I stand for of all the mothers but out here who so lost her. their sons to the brutality. In her laws, she celebrated that. What is this? It is a real girl. For those who need other reasons to recognize the truth of these rallies, the gifts, the rallies, the rallies, the rallies, and the world that Floyd has played in it, it's unbelievable that we have to keep doing this. It's embarrassing for our nation. And if we have to be violent, we have to be violent, but I definitely roll in peace. It's unworthy to be the symbol of a reawakening to end anti-black racism. Please note, there are many black children, unarmed, innocent children who've been gone down. If we can review these cases because Floyd died, thank God he and them all did not die in vain. Thank God, George Floyd and the many innocent and those we deem not innocent, all who died on this earth because they were black, because they were discriminated against, this is such a gift to know they did not die in vain. And that's why George Floyd is worthy. Because he's reminded us all who died because they are black are worthy. Thank you.